How's it going, guys? We have an easy question for 2CK for family medicine, internal medicine. If you're studying for step one, you should absolutely still know this. This is fair game, okay? It's not complicated, not dramatic. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 56-year-old woman, four-month history of progressive weakness in her shoulders and hips. Vitals are normal. BMI is 20. Physical exam shows mild bilateral weakness in her deltoids, gluteae, and quadriceps muscles. ESR, creatine kinase are elevated. Her brother has rheumatoid arthritis. She traveled to Mexico a month ago. Question wants to know the next best step in diagnosis. So let's just whip through the answers here. Choice E, stool examination, wrong answer. So even if we wanted to just state the possibility that this could be OMG cystocercosis, okay, I mean, that's a classic muscle infection uh, that can occur. Patient travels abroad, especially to Mexico. Okay, cysts and muscle. So tinea soleum is a tapeworm. She went a month ago to Mexico, but she's had weakness for four months, okay? Not difficult, but some students overlook stuff like that. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, muscle biopsy, wrong answer. So this, in fact, would confirm this patient's diagnosis. It would, but it's not the next, spe next best step in diagnosis. Okay, you're jumping the gun. We're jumping a couple steps here. I'll explain this more specifically in a moment. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, MRI, cervical spine, wrong answer, completely unrelated. I could make a comment, and as I said, completely unrelated, that this should be done for patients with rheumatoid arthritis uh, who have paresthesia slash sensory changes of the upper limbs, which occurs due to atlantoaxial subluxation rheumatoid arthritis. You need to know that for surgery slash internal medicine for 2CK. Long fucking discussion. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, liver biopsy, wrong answer. I mean, obviously, this could be done for a myriad of things. This would be confirmatory for primary biliary cirrhosis, okay, which this is not. Lengthy discussion, wrong fucking answer. Choice A, electromyography, nerve conduction studies, the correct answer. This patient has polymyositis, okay? So you have a patient over the age of 50 who's got weakness on physical exam and or increase in CK. In this case, both are present, okay? Don't confuse this with polymyalgia rheumatica which I've made many prior YouTube clips on, where in PMR, you don't have weakness on physical exam and you don't have elevation in CK. In both polymyositis and polymyalgia rheumatica, ESR can be elevated. Patient can even have a low-grade fever sometimes with autoimmune flares. The relevance of the brother having RA, as I've talked about, uh, autoimmune diseases go together. Don't worry about strict HLA associations. They could have told you she has history of vitiligo. She has history of diabetes type 1. Her mom has psoriasis, okay? You have somebody who loves that stuff. So answer is electromyography and nerve conduction studies for polymyositis, which you might be saying watching this clip, wait, wouldn't we do, for instance, antibody screening for uh, anti-JO1, MI2? Yeah, you would. I agree with you on that one. But this is the answer I've seen on USMLA. Okay, this is literally very similar to uh, a question from one of the clinical master series forms. They don't force you to choose between anti-JO1 antibody and electromyography nerve conduction studies. They don't do that. They'll give you one or the other. I don't think I've ever seen anti-JO1 as an actual answer before. I, you'll, see, you'll sometimes maybe see it in a vignette, okay? But you need to know that this is how we diagnose pyomyositis. And then muscle biopsy would be confirmatory, sure, where you're going to see a T-cell, predominantly CD8+, plus. Uh, T cell infiltrate in muscle. Okay, a lot we can talk about, uh, but I'm just going to end this fucking clip. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.